Hi again, folks, and once again, I apologise for the awful uh, dark and gloomy lighting. I mean, this is as bright as the camera goes. Natural light's crap. I mean, it's overcast, so I'm sorry, I'm not really a goth. Um, anyway, I'm enjoying having a debate with this uh, particular bloke whose uh, username is um, Usenet Posts. Um, I've been talking to him in PM, he's made a video response to me, I've made a video response to him, etc. I mean, it's all quite good stuff. He made a video called Ari uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 714, which is a response to my video, Isaiah 714. And um, he says something which I've heard said many places, and hence I thought I'd make a video response about it. Um, he said, there is, in my personal view, a good reason why those meanings are not overly close. He talks about, he's talking about the meanings of the names Jesus and Emmanuel, because I disputed that Emmanuel refers to Jesus, because it doesn't, clearly, in, in my view. He goes on. There are, if you know how to look for them, many hints, even from the earliest pages of the Bible, about the deity of Jesus Christ. He goes on, but that's the bit I want to tackle. Um, I just don't, I don't understand that. I mean, I said as much on his page and uh, the response comments you know where he sees hints I see people like him just seeing faces in clouds but uh, he, he goes on and uh, refers to 1 Corinthians 2 verse 8 which uh, uh, you know in support of his argument but it's really interesting he uses that because one of my favorite books of the whole one of my favorite passages of the whole Bible is also from 1 Corinthians First Corinthians, sorry, you know, and um, it's verse uh, fourteen nine though, chapter fourteen verse nine, and it says this: "So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air." I think my intonation was off when I said that. Anyway, whatever. Um, speak plainly, because if you don't, no one's going to understand what you're saying and it's basically pointless isn't it you you what's the point of saying anything if you're not speaking clearly because then your words won't be understood and it seems to me that a lot of this prophecy stuff all these hints that only the faithful can understand it seems a little bit convenient i mean i'm sorry but people have free will spell it out okay what the bible should do if it's really the word of god and not that I'm criticising God, but I am, but I'm not, because I don't believe that God wrote this Bible, even if he exists. I don't believe in him, but I think he might exist. Small possibility, but I, I doubt he had anything to do with the Bible whatsoever, um, or the Quran, or any other holy books. But, yeah, I mean, my, my opinion is, spell it out, God. Say it plainly, okay? And then, if we read what you've wrote, and we still don't follow, and we still don't understand, then that's our problem, we're going to hell, but spell it out at least don't cryptically word it spell it out and those who are faithful and who understand will understand I mean you can say something to someone and they just won't grasp what you're saying no matter how plainly you put it why not just put it plainly you know so I have to say I disagree with this argument hint you know that there's hints in the Bible I think that's patently nonsense and I and I love um, to say first Corinthians um, uh, 14 9 which is great, and I think um, a lot of Christians should pay closer attention to that particular passage.